Hi, it's Andy. I got another tutorial. Uh, this one is going to be on how to import uh, a library into Android Studio. Uh, current version of Android Studio I'm using here is 0 0.8.14. Uh, that is the newest available in the um, in the beta under the beta channel. Uh, there may may be a newer one in the Canary channel. Um, but uh, so here we go. We're gonna import um, a fading action bar, uh, or sorry, floating action button, not fading action bar. Um, so I have already downloaded this library. It's right here. Uh, we need this folder here as the rest of it is going to be um, extra stuff that you really don't need for your um, for your app. Uh, you just need the library which, is, which contains the core files. Um, so we're going to import this folder. And it'll show up on here in our tree. So to do this, we're going to go to File, Import Module. Uh, we have the three buttons here that allow us to um, navigate to our Downloads folder and then our Floating Action button master. And then we need this Library folder. OK, so uh, let's rename this to Fab Library. Hit finish. Okay, and here it is. Uh, and we have a few uh, issues that we need to take care of in our fab library build.gradle file. So let's take care of these. Um, so first thing we're going to do is compile SDK version. And we can copy these over from our regular one. So do 21. Build tools is 21.1.0. Okay, so we need our minimum minimum SDK version that we're going to target. I'll just do 14. Uh, or min SDK version and our target version is going to be 21, which is Lollipop. Uh, version number is 1 and version name is 1.0 so this one's going to go as a string and uh, we'll change the version code to 1 okay so now when we build this we'll still get an error that's not a big deal because it'll be easy one to fix However, it may not be as obvious to you. This one says no such property group for class of org.gradle.api.publication.maven internal ant default grooven maven deployer. Um, all we need to do is just delete this last line here. Uh, try again. And awesome, we're good to go. So now when we open this up, we have our our actual library that we can see. Now it's not quite usable yet but if you want to just use it we'll just uh, implement it here. We'll just do a floating action button. The nice thing is that when we hit alt enter add dependency on module fab library. That's the easiest way to just add it. Um, but if you need to add it another way, you can just go into your project structure here and add it as a library. So you would select add um, more modules. And I believe you can select it from there. But the easiest way to do this will, um, will be the way that I showed you just a second ago, just to add it in. Um, it will do that all for you. Okay, and the next uh, tutorial I'm going to do is actually how to show you how to use this library. So that'll be coming up right up, right next. All right, have a good day.